Well, hi team. Um, I'm sending out this email and it's including all of your lesson plan links for the month of January. So I thought I would just very quickly um, give you a very brief overview of the components of your new lesson plan. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So give me one second so I can do that. It takes just a minute and that way you can see what I'm looking at on my screen. All right, here we go. So this is your new lesson plan, all right? And when you first open it, there's a lot of information up here that actually does not apply to you. It's for um, those that are helping us to prep our classes and get the materials ready for the lesson. So you can skip over that. So that's gonna be about the first six pages of the lesson plan. So I'm gonna scroll through and I'm gonna scroll past all of this introductory stuff. This is all stuff that won't apply to you guys, unless you're helping us prep the class, until I get to page six. All right, so this is gonna be page six. And what I wanna point out is here up top. So up top, there are six components uh, within each lesson plan. Um, the first is the prelude, and again, that's all the prep work, so you don't have to worry about that. But the first component is what they call social. And that's beginning small groups. So when kids come into class, kind of what we've been already doing this month of December, when kids come into class, they will immediately go to small group. What's different is we won't have any arrival activities at all. So the, whichever teacher is closest to the door, as kids come in, you just direct them to whatever small group they need to go to. So the first 15 minutes will be small group. Um, and you can read through this whenever you open your lesson plan and it basically has um, different small group activities for you to start off with. Uh, one of the things I would suggest is also just having a couple of fun things in mind that you could do uh, with the kids um, just in case you run out of um, or the kids do the activities faster than what you anticipate. It's just always a good idea to kind of have a couple things in the back of your mind. Uh, one of the things that I, I like to do is use the whiteboards and we'll do like Pictionary or we'll do, um, you can do Hangman with the older kids, um, just different things that you can do. So, but you'll be able to read through the social part. Again, that's beginning small groups. And I'm gonna scroll down. Here's the next activity for this particular lesson. This is the January 7th lesson. One thing I wanna point out is you'll see this left sidebar just kinda of gives you all the main points for the lesson. It gives you what the Bible story is. This one is about the wise and foolish builders. The memory verse for the entire month. Um, every um, month there's a life app that they want kids to understand. And this month we're talking about commitment. It's making a plan and putting it into action. So that's so appropriate for um, January where so many of us are making New Year's resolutions. Um, we have a bottom line that we want the kids to know, which is practice hearing and doing what God says. And then a basic truth that we wanna convey this month is I can trust God no matter what. So you'll see that sidebar on all of the pages um, and it's just so you can kind of know what's going on for the whole month. So back to this top bar, we're still on social. This is the second um, beginning small group, group activity. And then what comes next is story and worship. So what's gonna be different is right after um, the beginning small groups, we're not gonna go into worship right away. Uh, what we're actually gonna do is we'll have small groups, then we'll have um, our countdown video, which is gonna tell the kids to go ahead and have a seat. Then we're gonna have actually an intro video. And that intro video actually kind of gets you ready for what the lesson's gonna be about. Then after that intro video, we're gonna begin this segment. And you see here is an opener. So probably for this month, the person that's gonna be doing the opener will probably be either myself or Kristen, as you guys are getting used to the orange uh, curriculum. So in the opener, it's just our welcome and we're talking about uh, what we're gonna be talking about for that particular lesson. And then the commitment slide comes early in the lesson. And that commitment slide uh, really talks about the life app. And that's gonna be our new secret, secret phrase. We're gonna use the life app. Um, so that's gonna, well, I'll talk about that more during your teacher's notes, the week that you serve. So we'll have an opener, and this is all in the story part, the story and worship part of the lesson. Then what you'll see is then 
is going to be time for worship. So again, this is different than what we've normally been doing. Um, we'll have two worship songs and then that will be it. And then we'll, we'll want everybody to participate in the worship like we always do. Um, and those two worship songs, the links for those would be in the email the week that you serve. And then it goes into the actual story. Now, when you get your lesson plan, I don't want you to worry. The story here is as if someone in the class is gonna be teaching it. Um, so they provide us with the script. But what we've opted to do is we've opted to get the story on video. So if for some reason, like during, um, you look at your lesson plan and say, hey, you know, I think I actually want to do the story myself. I wanna teach it this week instead of using the video, by all means, you can do that. I know um, Toby does that a lot. He'll, if he serves, I think second service, if we use the video for first surf service, oftentimes Toby just tells the story just to switch it up for kids that are there twice. But what you'll see here is story. And that's all this is actually gonna be on a video. So no one has to worry about memorizing that or just um, unless you want to do it. So I'm gonna skip all this because this is what would be on the video. And then the, we wouldn't come back in until this bottom line slide. And this is what we would say. Uh, we would go after the bottom line slide. And then where they have prayer, that's actually where we're gonna put in our altar call. So we'll do altar call. And then at the end of that, we'll do a closer. And then it'll be time for our second small groups. And so you see up here at the top, it goes back to groups. So social was the first small groups, the beginning ones at the beginning of class. Story and worship is like the large group portion of class. And then groups is back to small groups. And so you guys are used to seeing lesson plans. There are several activities that they list here that you can do in the small groups. And as always, we'll have everything you need in a bucket uh, ready for you to, to do your small groups. So if you scroll through the plan, that's it. They end in small groups. These are just the different small group exercises. And where we will differ is we won't end in small groups after the 25 minutes. Let me scroll back up. You see how it says 25 minutes here. After the 25 minutes of small groups, we're actually gonna play another video that goes along with the curriculum to cue the kids to come back um, to their seats. And then we'll do mega prize and we'll do um, a dismissal. So that's gonna be the gist of the uh, lesson plan. Um, go ahead and take a look at your lesson plans. The week that you serve, I'll probably send out a little bit more detail about um, the actual plans themselves, um, but this will at least give you, get you started and you can look at your plan um, for this month. Um, starting in February, we'll have these plans printed out ahead of time. So that last week in January, you all will be able to pick up your lesson plans for the month of February in the elementary class if you prefer that. So we're excited. I can't wait to get this started. There's a lot of tools with this curriculum that I believe are going to help us to minister to our kids and, our, and, the, and their families um, even better. And I'm excited to share this with all of you. And I'm so thankful for um, the investment that you all make with our kids. One last thing is I want to encourage you, if you're not looking at our Facebook page, our uh, volunteer group Facebook page, um, please make sure that you're checking that out because we're putting a lot of teaching aids, um, a lot of articles that uh, would be relevant to you. Um, we're going to start putting some small group um, information and training up there. And so we use that as a great resource. So make sure you're checking that out. And as always, if you have any questions at all, make sure you're contacting uh, Kristen and I. So thank you guys, and I hope that you enjoy this new Orange curriculum. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen, and you guys have a great day. All right, bye-bye.